Hello, and welcome back to Insurmountable. Uh, today we're knocking out the third mission needed to unlock the third mountain. We're going to be climbing with the journalist. Uh, we do have very thin air and very cold nights, but normal weather other than that. We're not going to be moving at night with the journalist anyway. Uh, let's definitely change this out. So, I think we want the sanity. Uh, the journalist ignores crazy terrain, right? Uh, ignore negative effects of weather and terrain. But that's not the, uh, yeah, this is the one we would have needed. Which I know I can reset the skills, but not too worried about it. We definitely want the body temperature. I don't think we need this... Mm. Energy cost would be nice to get rid of. So we do have the body temperature thing. Very thin air. Yeah, so I'd like I'd like some O2. So probably get rid of these. Get some O2. And then get rid of dish. And get get um hmm. We could do the better climbing axe. That leaves us with a weird five. I think we're gonna be left with a weird five regardless. I guess we can take this. In case we need it. And then like a can of food. Yeah, I like that. Alright, let's get going. Already wasting time. Yes, yes. Holy shit, that peak was far. Oh, we're gonna immediately see what this is. You lean back against a rock face. Distant melody reaches your ear. Okay, just gives me XP. Um, yep. Because we're actually gonna be sleeping. Yeah, that's kind of far away. Where can I, uh, where can I really make it to? Let's use that. Just make it as far as we can then. Good God, zoom out. Ignore negative effects of weather and terrain. Duration 6 hours, cooldown 24 hours. I'll probably save that for the weather. If we need it, I don't think I need to just be using it right now. Obviously, I'm going to go over here. Hit both of these on the way up. Oh. Injured Mountaineer. Uh, I'll try to help him. You roll the stranger into the recovery position and speak to him in a soothing voice. Uh, strength appears to be coming back. He is very grateful and shares his provisions with you while assuring you, the, assuring you he will be alright from now on. And we got a little hat. Whenever you use a consumable item... Um, yeah, might as well. It's going to last us longer. I like the end of mission uh, skills that we can take. Um, I think I'm going to continue my journey. I'm not really worried about that. But we should be good here. Uh, all we got to do... Is make it up. It's not as far as it looks. It's just going to be scaling that big mountain. Banged my fucking foot again. Every episode. So I didn't know this was an active skill. It's not really as good. As an active skill. But it's okay. Alright so now. Yeah our body temperature is taking a very small hit. I'm gonna continue moving, and then we shall do a long sleep, like halfway over there. Yeah, my god, that was crazy to climb. 
think like right here that's where we do our active or our first little little snooze sleep long get our body temp back get a lot of energy oh it is snowing that sucks but let's get going just screw it use this there now we're not worried about anything energy is barely moving right now uh sanity is not moving really at all either discover a bird's nest hey we got some tea oh god oh god i'm gonna sneeze bless you thank you Whew. oh it's gonna happen again i can already feel it but not yet nope no wait Oh, goodness. Yes, yes, flower. Flower pretty. Oh, God. Every time I mow. Oh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's give it a try. We got energy to spare. Hey, hey. An O2 bottle. It's the fullest our inventory's ever been. Can I make that? No way. Sure says we can. This one might be uh, quicker than anticipated. But I really don't know yet. Well, actually, it looks like we're almost there. Yeah, give me that, uh, give me that energy. Go. Reduce energy cost for a short time. We're gonna make the most out of that. We're already at the, almost at the summit. Which means getting down is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be some stupid, weird path. Uh, shouldn't have gone there. Okay, I can't quite make that. But I can make that. And that looks to be good enough for me. Alright. Let's have us a snooze. Sleep long. It is going to take oxygen. Could not care less. I got two O2 bottles in my bag right now. Get up to that summit. Right as day breaks. That is beautiful. Wow, it actually is beautiful here. This is a fucking island. Like, is the whole island mountains? Uh, we got a little bit of everything. Okay, that doesn't look bad, right? wonder how bad it actually is, though. It's really not. Alright, just, uh, start walking. We'll stop, like, right over here. I think we'll still be in, a, in the uh, death zone, though. We have warm cap. Body temperature's not huge at the moment. Could not care less about oxygen usage. Um, We can't really sleep because it's morning time. Huh. Our energy is about to be used up. We gotta stop like right here for now. Alright, well I guess... Uh, I guess sleep long. And then do we turn around and do it again? I think we might do. Sleeping outside sucks. Alright, just keep walking. We're gonna go over to this cave.
Yeah, get up there. And hopefully sleeping in here will negate the other effects. Lie down and sleep. Um, just sleep briefly. That'll get us to the beginning of the day with almost full uh, everything. Level up real fast. Experience gain, eh. Sure. And I gained some oxygen there as well somehow. So again, energy is going to be our big problem. I mean, obviously. Yeah, find a different path. I don't mind. I'm not going to have that much uh, energy to make it all the way through the day anyway. I mean, we're already almost there. That's kind of nuts. I guess this episode is going to be a little shorter. Oh, come on, then. Okay, we're going to pass two events, which give the adventurer, or journalist, uh, a crazy amount of XP. Follow the singing. Sure. Singing is coming, coming from a cave leading deep into the mountain. You're just about, to, bleh, just about to enter the cave when you discover bones scattered outside the entrance. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fuck off from that. You got it, though. Uh, we're out of, out of the death zone. Steaming hot water bubbles out of a crack in the rock into a stone base. Well, that's a freaking hot spring. Uh, I'll take the XP, thank you. Can I make this? Like, no fooling. We'll ignore the terrain stuff, right? Oh my god, we gotta climb so far down. There's no other way. You couldn't have trudged. Oh, I hate that I can't speak words. What I was trying to say is she can't just trudge through the snow that was right there. But what came out was that's all, folks. Whatever, we made it down. Reached your goal. Body feels weak. Blah blah blah. Run it back to base. We should get a bunch of uh. Yeah, um, not enough to level anything up. Unfortunate. What you got to say? The mysterious stranger leans over you as you slowly awaken. Her eyes are sparkling and a smile plays on her lips. Good news. I found out why the stone didn't affect the time loop, even though everything with the radiation went according to my calculations. Oh gosh, let me take a breath. You have to picture the time loop like an umbrella. It spans the entire mountain range like an invisible shell. But the shell isn't the same everywhere. The further we go from the original site of the disruption, the, the thinner the shell gets, and the easier it is for the radiation to penetrate it. You can probably imagine what that means, right? We need to get to the highest point in the mountain range. That's where we'll find the Achilles heel of the time loop. If we take the overheated stone to that weak point, cracks should form in the shell that would destabilize the entire time loop. I know I've asked a lot of you, but I still need you to scale that final summit. That will be the last step, I'm sure of it. So, oh, we have, okay. Reach the summit and escape the time loop. So we can just dip. Hmm. Might do that then. I know there's still all these side missions to do, and I would like to do them, but I feel like uh, just wrapping it up. Couldn't be bad. I want to see where the story goes. And it's... One of these missions is each an episode. So that would be one, two, three, five, six more mi episodes. So, I might just scale this mountain over here. But... Let's see. Five temporal anomalies. Or temporal, however you say it. It's, I guess it's a regional thing. Temporal, temporal, whatever. I'm not... I, I don't want to find five. This one is the only one that scale a summit. 
All the rest are anomalies. And I'm not going to lie, those missions are a little repetitive to me anyway. And I feel like they probably are to watch as well. So, I think on the next episode, we'll finish out Mountain 3 over here. Yeah, that sounds good to me. We don't have really any more uh, upgrades, right? I mean, we do, but that's if we really go balls to the wall on every mission. Which I don't think we're going to do. I think we're going to pick our favorite character, which would probably... I mean, I do like the scientist as well. We can make equipment, so we can make stuff that we need. We can gain XP, uh, gain a temporary buff by sacrificing some... Ins some mm, Not some insanity. Taking some insanity. Sacrificing sanity. Um, increased base stats, that's pretty cool. Uh... Whenever you wake up, gain 10 energy. Might do the scientist, actually. I mean, I know we've been... You know, kind of going at it with the, uh... The adventurer here. I might try the scientist out. But, we'll figure all that out in the next episode. So, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.